today we're talking about hope and our exercise is our hope tree. This is inspired by my blog um, about hope, so discovering why hope is power, and it gives us ways to increase your power with hope. So hope is that belief that something of something in the future, right? So an expectation of something that it will go in a certain way. And so that is what hope is. And so this week we're creating our hope tree. And what we need for this is just paper, um, like one pen or marker, any coloring medium if you want to color. Um, yeah, it doesn't have to be markers. It can be crayons, it depends crayons, whatever. Uh, colored paper, or if you don't have colored paper, white paper, and you know, you can color it. And then scissors. So with your hope tree, I'm gonna just show you, um, it's not a difficult process. You can do it with kids even. And uh, so I'll show that to you. Uh, I'll just switch cameras and we'll, we'll get started. All right. I've got here my paper. I've got some colored paper. And this is just some fun colored paper I had. And it's just like printer paper, but in fun bright colors. I love bright colors. Um, and these just were some of the colors I had. I think they must have been from making posters because they're really bright um, that I'm going to use. But they're fun. I love bright colors, as I said. So I'm just going to put that there. And then I've got my sketch pad. So I'm not sure if I'm going to leave it in the sketchbook or if I'm going to put it on the wall. But this is our hope tree. So the first thing we're going to do is draw our tree. And it can be as detailed or not as you like. It can be literally out of any, any um, medium, markers, paint, pencil crayons, crayons. Um, in fact, I might do crayons. This is an old set, the 100th birthday of Crayola. Good Lord, my kids might have been little when I got this one. Uh, but there looks like there's a lot of bright colors in there too. <laughs> Let's see some tree colors, some browns, some different browns. Oop, there we go. All right. I don't know how many of those are different. So I'm going to draw my tree to start with. And it's not about the tree. Remember, this is about the process. So don't get hung up on what your tree looks like. And we want some branches off this tree. And then some of these, and then those will have branches. And they can be as big as you like. I'm gonna make this, I'm gonna go like this. Just adding some branches. Step is our leaves. 
And I like for something like this uh, to make heart-shaped leaves. So I'm just gonna do a really basic, I'm just gonna fold, because hearts are easier to cut if you have them folded. That way they come out even, but however you want to, if you've got a punch, if you want, you know, however you want to cut them, I'm just going to, and you can make them as big or as small as you want, or you might want different sizes. I'll just start with these two. So I've got my scissors. I might do some that are a little smaller than that. And it's up to you if you want to fold your page or not. Yeah, I think that's a better size. And then just so I can fit them on, I'll even do some smaller ones. They don't all have to be the same size. They don't have to look the same. They don't even have to be heart shaped. They can be whatever shape you want them to be. I just like hearts because they kind of look like leaves and um, they're hearts, right? Just remember that self love and why we're doing this. So this is our hope tree. colored paper you can use white paper you can use you can just draw your leaves on if you want to I just I just like the 3d effect and how it looks and how it feels you know when you're putting that care and attention into it all right there we go so I have all my leaves now all different sizes even though they're all hearts they're kind of all different shapes <laughs> all different shaped hearts you could do them more wonky if you wanted. You don't have to make them even, so you could cut them freehand. I like to do that uh, when I'm working in my art journal. I often cut them freehand because they're a little wonkier. All right, so now we have our leaves. Now, this is a process you can do all at once, and I'm gonna do that for the sake of the video. 
or you can have a pile of these leaves and you can do this on a daily basis. And that's where it's nice to post your tree um, and then have your leaves so you can add to them every day. But I'm gonna do a bunch of them just to show you. Let's put them off to the side here. What I'm gonna do, uh, what do I wanna write with? So I've given you a list of things that you can write on them. And so some of them are words that represent you. So I'm gonna do creative. And other words that represent me. Funny, I've been told I'm funny, but I think it's mostly just people laugh at me, but <laughs> I've been told I'm funny. Um, what else? Um, smart. I'm quirky, but I think of it as a positive word, so I'm going to add it. I am quirky. Anybody who knows me will tell you that. And you don't have to do this, but I just noticed I did this. I have a funny thing about patterns. Um, so I have all these colors of leaves and I'm doing words that represent me. So I picked all the same color. You don't have to do that. Um, I've probably mentioned this before. I've probably mentioned this before, but I have Asperger's. And so a lot of times things, repetitive things and patterns um, come to me, whether I mean to or not. So obviously in my brain, I chose one color for the words that represent me. You don't need to do that. I'm going to do one more word that represents me that I can think of right now. And let's see, aren't quirky, funny, creative. Um, I've been told I am kind. So I'm going to do that. Okay. And so another prompt I gave you, the feeling you're experiencing, and this is where it's a really good one to do on a daily basis. Um, I'm pretty happy today. Um, I'm very calm. A lot of the chaos is, seems to be coming to an end or smoothing out, maybe not coming to an end, but smoothing out. What else am I feeling today? Um, I am, I am quite joyful the expectations of the holiday season. All right. And then another one, one thing you do for self care. My biggest one is creating. So I create. That's a form of self care for me. What else do I do for self care? Um, I do try to sleep well. a little bigger. Go for walks. So those are some of the things I do for self-care. And a person you rely on for support. Okay, wow. Uh, my wife. I have some really great friends that are super important to me and are always there for me. And my one daughter is my go-to person, especially for family things. All right. And one thing you look forward to in the future. One thing you look forward to in the future. It looked much different when I was cutting them out. Now that they're cut, it just looks a little bit, a little bit different. Okay. Okay. One thing you look forward to in the future. Oh, the holidays. I'm excited. For this holiday season. 
my daughter bought a house and so we're gonna go visit uh, it'll be her first Christmas in her brand new house super well she didn't just buy a house she bought a farm she bought a farm so that's exciting uh, one thing you look forward to in the future um, my wedding even though it was postponed we were supposed to be getting married next month that's not happening till next year thank you COVID and what else am I looking forward to in the future I am taking a week off in December I haven't had a week off in over a year because there's no place to go but I'm gonna take a week off What else? What else? Hmm. Big plans in my business. Oh, and I just thought of one more. What color is this? Finishing my book, which was already supposed to be out, and I know that. Um, it'll be the new year, but I'm so close now. <laughs> All right. So these are the prompts that I gave you. A word that represents you, a feeling you're experiencing, one thing you do for self-care, one person you rely on for support, and one thing you look forward to in the future. And I did, because I'm doing them sort of all at once right now, although I think I will keep these ones over to the side and remind myself that I can add to it. And then I'm just gonna add these with just a little bit of glue. So. In no particular order, even though I am a little bit of a um, pattern person, I sometimes try to be as random as I can. I'm just gonna stick these on. And here's the kind of the nice thing about the hearts with the, when you folded them, it gives it sort of a 3D effect because they're trying to lift a little bit. I'm just putting a little bit of glue on the back. So there is my hope tree and the idea of a hope tree is reminding ourselves of the positive things that we have in our life but also the things that we look forward to because hope uh, you know we've been talking about hope in my morning calm uh, program this week and you know one of the main things that keeps re reoccurring is hope is really what keeps us alive right that hope for the future, that hope for things to get better, or that hope that things will continue to stay good, you know. Um, and so this is just helping us, reminding us of the things that we have, the things that we would like, that future that we can uh, create for ourselves and the future to look forward to, right? So that is our hope tree. Post it and then keep adding your leaves to it. Great. So hopefully you enjoyed that. Um, there is no wrong way. It's about the process. Get a tree on paper. You don't want to draw one, cut one out. You, you know, you just want to stick a stick. You know, maybe your leaves are all on the ground and you, you don't even have a tree. <laughs> There's the essence of a tree just off the page and your leaves have all fallen to the ground for fall. However you want to do it, right? So. We are going to, um, like I showed you, we're answering those questions, um, words that represent you, feelings that you're experiencing, what you do for self-care, who you rely on for support, and what you look forward to in the future. And you can add your leaves all at once or do a pile of them to get started so you've got some on your tree, and then add a few each day. Maybe you want to add, 
answer one or two of these questions each each day and 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 add to it you know how are how am i feeling today okay i'm going to add that and it'll change up and like i said i like the heart shaped leaves but you can do them any size you can do them any color you can draw them on there's no wrong way to do this so hopefully you enjoyed that i'd love to hear from you post a comment uh, like, subscribe, all of those good things. And we'll be back again, hopefully next week. I think not every week have I got a creative exercise for you with my blog, but I'm uh, some weeks I do. So hopefully I'll be back next week. Until then, have amazingly creative days. Bye for now. Do you listen to the Creative Soul Healing Podcast? Why not? That's where I interview creatives, healers, and people who have healed with the help of creativity. Each week, a new interview. Learn what people think of healing with creativity. Click the link below to listen or watch the latest episode. You can also find us on all the popular podcast platforms, such as iTunes and Spotify. Check it out today.